Hello guys, welcome to this running. This is an episode of uh, JMAN's and Neat Paper Solution series. But in this video, we will discuss Bart's reduction for alkynes, right? This is a very important reaction. You know, Bart's reduction can occur for aromatic systems and for alkynes also. But in this video, we will discuss specifically Bart's reduction for alkynes, right? MCQ questions related to Bart's reduction had been set in several times in many competitive exams, right? So firstly, we will see some questions regarding Bart's reduction uh, from previous years and then we will discuss the detailed mechanism of Bart's reduction reaction, right? So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the question is on your screen. This question has been set in Jamie's paper 2014 the reagent needed for converting this compound that is PHC triple bond CPH to PHCH double bond CHPH. Uh, see here carefully two hydrogens are in transposition and two phenyl groups are in transposition. The name of the compound is E stilbin or trans stilbin right. So the answer of this question is of course option C that is lithium in liquid ammonia. Uh, which is actually the Barch reagent and again in the question paper of AITPLE 2012 you can see uh, 2 hexane gives trans 2 hexane on treatment with here of course the answer will be lithium ammonia it is the Barch reagent uh, that is option 1 and you can see the same question has been set in the NEET paper also uh, here of course the reduction of 2 butyne with sodium in liquid ammonia gives predominantly of course the answer is option C that is trans 2 butene right. So we are discussing today the Barth reduction that is why the two hydrogen atoms are added from the opposite side okay to give the trans product from an alkyne right. So let us discuss the mechanism. So I am discussing any one of the given questions look this is pH. Uh, then it is carbon, then it is triple bond, then it is carbon and this is pH. So the name of this compound is diphenyl acetylene, right? I am writing here the name of the compound is diphenyl acetylene, diphenyl acetylene. Right. And this compound on reaction with sodium or lithium in liquid ammonia, right? I can write here lithium or sodium in liquid ammonia, right? Liquid ammonia is the solvent which dissolves sodium or lithium that is alkali metals, we know it, okay. So uh, your product will be pH this is your carbon then double bond then carbon then it is your pH and two hydrogen atoms will be added from the opposite side right. So this is actually trans addition and as a matter of fact we will get the compound is trans stilbin right. This is trans stilbin. The name of the compound is trans stilbin, right? Okay. So, this is actually a trans addition process, right? Because the two hydrogen atoms will be attached from the opposite side. This is trans addition. Right. Now, we will discuss the mechanism of this reaction, right? You can write the mechanism of Barth reduction for alkynes, right? This is our mechanism. Look, this is our molecule, our substrate molecule is, our substrate molecule is pH C triple bond, this one is C and this one is your pH, right? Okay. And when, and when, look any of any of the alkali metal that is lithium or sodium 
Of course, we know lithium or sodium contains one electron in its valence shell and this electron is transferred at this carbon at the triple bond holding carbon right. And this pi bond one of the pi bond will open up to, to be the lone pair on carbon atom right. So look this step is very important and what you will get and you will get look this one is pH and this one is carbon this one is double bond this one is carbon this one is pH and very importantly the odd electron containing orbital will present at the anti position with respect to this orbital right. Look very importantly this carbon contains one odd electron this carbon contains one odd electron given by lithium lithium atom the metallic lithium. So, one electron will present there and and the and by opening up the, this pi bond this carbon contains two electrons right. So, two electrons will lie at this orbital right and very importantly this two orbital will lie in the opposite direction to, to minimize the electrostatic repulsion right. So, this is important and this carbon the formal charge of this carbon is uh, this carbon contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 electrons. So, this one is negative carbon this one is negative. So, this so this species is actually known as radical anion right this is a radical anion and this is actually the main reason why these two hydrogen are added from the opposite sides right. In this radical anion two electron containing orbitals will lie in the opposite direction to minimize the electrostatic repulsion right. We will see the molecular model of this species just a minute. Look this is the molecular model of this radical anion right. Look this is your pi bond this is your pi bond and these are two different orbitals which lie in the anti position. This orbital contains two electrons and this electron and this orbital contains one electron right and this two orbital of course lie in the opposite direction to minimize the electrostatic repulsion. Look if if this two orbital would lie in the same direction that is in the cis position there will be an electrostatic repulsion. So, to minimize this electrostatic repulsion these two orbitals will lie in the opposite direction right. So, this is very important in this radical anion this look. So, in this radical anion these two uh, electron containing orbitals will lie in the opposite directions in the uh, anti positions right. Then the three steps of this reaction is very easy uh, then 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 liquid ammonia is the proton donor over here. So, we can write so we can write liquid ammonia this is NH3 this hydrogen is del positive center nitrogen is del negative center. So, this lone pair of carbon will abstract the H plus from ammonia ok and this NH2 minus will release right. So, what you will get you will get this one this one is pH then it is carbon this is double bond this one is carbon this carbon contains one electron in its orbital right and this is your pH and one hydrogen is added at this orbital right ok. And the same two steps will be repeated subsequently uh, to give our product right. Uh, so, in the next step lithium will again donate the one electron at this orbital right. So, we will get pH then carbon then double bond it is carbon and it is your two electrons 
and then it is pH and hydrogen is over there right. So, this carbon is negatively charged right and in the last step again 1 H plus will be abstracted from ammonia molecule it is a proton donor molecule nitrogen is still negative hydrogen is still positive. So, this lone pair will abstract 1 H plus from ammonia to give us the trans product right. So, our, our final product is so our final product is this one is carbon this one is carbon this one is double bond then carbon then this is your hydrogen and this is your hydrogen to hydrogen lie in the opposite direction. So, you will get the trans product right. So, this is your trans product and one important thing to note from here look lithium will donate see lithium will donate one electron. So, it is single head arrow that is fish hook arrow and two electrons of this bond will go at this carbon. So, it is double headed arrow right. So, this is our complete mechanism of Birch reaction reaction and there are of course, there are two byproducts there Li plus is released from here and NH2 minus is released from here. So, lithium amide Li NH2 is our byproduct and again of course, and again of course, lithium amide that is Li NH2 is our byproduct ok. So, by Birch reaction you will always get the trans product by using this mechanism right. If two CST groups are present there look if two CST groups are present there if two CST groups are present there you will get the trans but twin right. This is trans but twin right. You will get this one from of course, this is but twin. Okay. And so and so on you always get the trans product by Birch reduction. Okay. And similarly, if you have a 2 hexane molecule, it will produce a trans hex 2 in on Birch reduction, right. So, look, this one is your hex 2 in C triple bond C, there are 6 carbon 3, then it is 4, 5, and 6, right. This is a 2 hexane, 2 hexane or it may be written as a hex 2 ion whatever this is um, this is modern IPC convention ok. Then on part reduction if you treat this molecule by lithium or sodium uh, in presence of in presence of liquid ammonia liquid ammonia you will get the trans product that is CH3 here this is carbon, this is your double bond, this is carbon, then 3 carbons over there CH2, CH2 and CH3 and 2 hydrogens will lie in the opposite direction right. So, this is trans right. So, this molecule is trans, this molecule is trans hex 2 in right, hex 2 in. Okay. So, this is also Birch reduction right. So, that is it from this video subscribe to my channel smash the like button we will meet in the next video bye bye for now.